Today we are going to talk about something that might be tempting for international students planning to study in the Netherlands. They want to bring their families along on a student visa. While this might seem as a good idea at first, there are several reasons why it may not be the best choice for your family's well-being. Hey, my name is Goodness and on this channel I share with you my experiences and knowledge about living, working and thriving in the Netherlands. So I came to the Netherlands in 2018 with a student visa. I did not move with my family. I'm a mom of three kids and at the time they were all under the age of eight. While it was a very tough decision to make at the time, in the end it turned out to be the best for myself and my family. I will explain to you in this video eight reasons why moving with your family on a student visa to the Netherlands may not be a good decision. Number one, accommodation is a huge challenge in the Netherlands. One of the most common complaints we get from international students is the problem with accommodation. And if you arrive in the Netherlands alone, you, are, you stand a higher chance of getting a room in a student hostel or sharing a flat with other students. As a student, you might receive some support and help from your university with student housing. But if you come with your family, it becomes much more difficult because the school will likely not have provision for a family. And this puts you under immense pressure from the get-go. Getting accommodation in the Netherlands generally is difficult, even for those who are citizens in the country. And landlords place a lot of conditions that makes it difficult for you to get accommodation. Cost of accommodation for a student hostel can range from 300 to about 600. But when you want to, when you want to rent a place for a family, then you start looking at 650 to as high as 2,500 euros, depending on the location and the size of accommodation. Most of the time, they want to see proof of income that you have a job which assures them that you'll be able to pay your rent when due. Sometimes they're asking for income that is three times the amount of rent they are requesting. In the absence of an income, you're asked to provide a guarantor who equally have a financial standing to back you up. In some other cases, you would have to cough out a deposit for many months just to get them to rent out a place to you. So even if you saved off some money and you arrived in the Netherlands with some money, it may still be very difficult to secure accommodation as a family without a job. Another point to consider is the general cost of living in the Netherlands. Chances are that the cost of living in the Netherlands is higher than the con your country of origin. So aside from accommodation, you need to consider other costs such as feeding, electricity, health insurance, telecommunication, transport, internet, and much more. And these costs can easily add up to over a thousand euros in a month, not counting in accommodation costs. Another point which people may not consider when planning to move with their family immediately on a student visa is the fact that your partner is not allowed to work. On your partner's resident permit, it will be clearly written, not permitted to work. This means she's, he or she is not able to engage legally in economic activities to support your family financially. And for me, this is one of the major reasons why I did not move with my family immediately on a student visa. Let's look at study costs. Tuition fees for international students in the Netherlands ranges from somewhere around 6,000 to as high as 20,000 and above. Unless you are on a scholarship, or that you saved up a lot of money and paid your school fees in upfront. Chances are that you want to work while studying to support your educational costs. Adding family to the equation makes the situation even more stressful. What about academic demand and school workload? Living abroad on its own is stressful and navigating a new environment Focusing in class, trying to work to earn some income can be a lot of burden on an international student. To add family obligations 
parenting and all the financial pressures that come with it makes it a lot more difficult for a student to focus on his studies and finish his course in good time. And if this pressure is not managed properly, it can lead to you missing classes or failing exams and having to either have your visa cancelled or pay extra fees to repeat classes. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is the time to consider doing so. Please subscribe and smash the like button. It will go a long way in helping a small channel like mine. Thank you so much. Uh, as an international student in the Netherlands, your working hours are limited to only 16 hours a week. Not only that, whoever is going to employ you is expected to apply for work permit on your behalf. This makes it difficult for international students to start work immediately they arrive in the Netherlands. It takes a bit of time to find jobs that are providing this work permit. You are also allowed to work full time during the summer months. But you can mitigate this challenge by registering a self-employment business name by the Chamber of Commerce. And with that, you can work more hours without restriction. Number seven factor to consider before bringing your family to the Netherlands is child care costs. In the Netherlands, children go to school free of charge from the age of four. If you have children below the age of four and you want to put them in kindergarten school, your family would have to bear the cost for this out of pocket. And child care costs can be anywhere between eight euros to 11 euros. Again, depending on your location and the school the eighth point to consider is the emotional strain on your family's well-being. Living abroad can be very challenging, adjusting to a new culture, language barrier, distance from family and friends, and adding financial stress to the equation can have serious emotional drain on your family relationship. So instead of having fun as a family, you might discover that you feel disconnected and isolated. And if care is not taken, this can have very negative impact on the family dynamics. So these are some of the points you need to consider when contemplating the idea of bringing your family to the Netherlands. You have to look at the financial, economic, emotional, and academic impact it can have on your well-being and that of your family. It might be worth thinking through this decision and consider leaving your family behind while you focus on your studies. This was the option that my family went for. I came and I focused on my studies and only applied for my family visa after my study was done. In the end, I found that to be better for my family overall. Alternatively, it's for you to look for opportunity of traveling to the Netherlands on a work visa. There are lots of Dutch companies that are hiring foreign professionals and it is much easier to travel with your family when you are on a work visa. If you click the playlist on the screen somewhere here or there, you would watch the video of 15 companies that are currently hiring from abroad with relocation and visa assistance. And if you have not yet subscribed, please, this is the time to do so. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section and I will see you in the next one.